Hey, Anthony, thanks for that response. Um, yeah, I'll just jump right in as well. I think uh, science, or what's great about science, at least when it's operating at the highest, uh, at its highest potential, is that it's a perpetual work in progress. And no scientist, at least no legitimate scientist, will ever pretend that whatever theory we happen to hold today is the final say. Um, I think, you know, there are physicists who are looking for a, th a theory of everything or a grand unifying theory. I don't think they'll ever find it, and I think that that is kind of missing the point of scientific exploration, at least from my perspective. Um, because I watched a video the other day, I forget whose channel it was on, um, Men of Infinity, I think, something like that, where he was talking about the nature of mystery and um, was basically saying that mystery is, can be equated with ignorance and that as our knowledge increases, our, the mystery dissipates or disappears. And I don't, I don't really agree with equating mystery with ignorance and I think science is really a form of worship of natural mystery. Um, and that certainly we do gain knowledge uh, through scientific discovery, and so ignorance is displaced. But I think mystery only increases, um, because I don't equate mystery with ignorance. I think mystery is more a sense of awe at the fact that there is anything at all. Um, and so when you discover a new scientific law, say, like E equals MC squared, you haven't vanquished the mystery, you've just revealed how beautiful it is, you know, why should energy be convertible to, uh, why should mass be convertible to energy, I mean, that's pretty mysterious, isn't it? Everything is made of energy, that's, that's profoundly beautiful, and so science hasn't, you know, it may have gotten rid of a bit of ignorance, but it's still, um, you know, at least for those who understand the equation, it sort of puts you in this state of mystical rapture, I think, um, but when, you know, when it comes to making a scientific discovery and trying to distinguish whether or not the excitement expressed by the scientist is this egoic sense of pride or the universe itself reveling in its own self-revelation, uh, you know, that's, that's a tough question to answer. I guess only you would know it as that scientist who made the discovery. Uh, I wouldn't want to say that it's always egotistical to be excited about a discovery or that it's always, you know, this, the universe, um, celebrating a moment of self-revelation. I don't, I don't know that it's fair to characterize it as always being one or the other. I think it depends on the individual scientist and, you know, how, um, in tune they are with the greater spiritual realities, you know, if you'll excuse the, the uh, simplicity and presumptive nature of that statement. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep it short. Uh, really appreciate your response and look forward to uh, seeing more of your face. So take it easy, Anthony.